we got this card from overseas this is an older request but we just received it uh, this past week so the card went through a wash cycle and see signs of corrosion on the back of this plastic this is the part I'm concerned about and that's the part that is going to need work okay VCC is not short to ground. I think it's something that has to do with connection or broken traces. I'm going to open up our studio. Our light is green, indicating that the unit is powered on, but we don't see um, 128 gigabyte nowhere here in sight. So let's try this with a PC3000 and memory card adapter that it comes with. So this adapter comes with uh, two sockets uh, plug and play for um, memory cards and you can actually use the MMC for SPI and stuff like that. So um, we got the uh, uh, SD card, plug it in, PC3000 connected. Okay, now we have an option to open it up. Uh, using the adapter we're going to say yes to that, create a new task. And for the source device, we're going to choose SD card adapter. Select that and hit OK. We don't want to make a copy just yet. I just want to see if uh, it actually has any signs of life. And we're in. Power up our unit. It says that the card is reading, but it still has no translation, so we can't recover it in a, in a, as its shape. So here's the important part. I, I did mess up a couple of wires when my tweezers slipped, but I'm, I'm going to take care of that right now. So uh, we have a pad and we have this vehicle right here. And they're not connected, obviously, because I slashed it here first. But even if uh, I didn't, uh, these two would have made a noise like that if they were fully attached, but they're not making that noise. So whatever is going down this hole, is supposed to connect to whatever it is going down this hole all right and this pad here is just a, a kind of in between spot right now the corrosion ate that part away and it's not connecting so we're gonna need to fix this first and then we have this hole coming up to this pad and going somewhere else so right here i also had put it a little bit of a slashing and killed the contact great great job man overall um, and then again uh, this was supposed to connect to this pad and it's not connecting anymore obviously right so this uh, vehicle doesn't connect to this vehicle uh, traces that are headed up to here we're gonna need to restore them if we're gonna use um, an end protocol but if we're using the end protocol we can put a wire directly here we don't need to wire it to this so I'm not gonna try to patch up these guys I'm gonna only patch up the ones that have passed through and uh, that way uh, I'll see if the card can be brought back to life to give you guys an idea of how small those traces are I just plunked one of my own hairs kind of gross but <laughs> the hair is is bigger than the trace yeah, this is 0 0.04. I think it's perfect for the job. So let's first uh, test it to make sure that we're not doing extra work and we're not missing anything. So this one is the first one that's broken. See, it's not making noise. This one seems to be still holding in by a thread. Or maybe not.
so first two are broken this one is clearly broken this one is good this one's broken this one's good okay so I got one two three four four wires that I broke that I'll fix right now and then additionally to that I'll have to get um, this pad connected to this trace and this pad connected to this trace and this pad connected to this trace Now the key to this is a good iron and obviously a very pointy uh, tip, precise tip, and a good flux and a little bit of a steady hand. Now this wire is coated, so it needs to be stripped first before, um, before it's mounted. But also the beauty of uh, this wire, since it's coated, is that when wires are really close like this and it's getting a bit too tight for the connection to take place we can go and plant the connection elsewhere So the three that I broke are pretty much fixed now. Just gotta do this last one. Okay, let's test it. good here good here and we're good here okay so those are test are fixed the one I broke personally is now patched here now let's deal with the ones that got corroded So this wire is now going to go into the pad. I'll I'm not changing the tip out, <laughs> this is my last tip that's bent like this in this size and I absolutely love this uh, tip, so 
I'm gonna try to use it for as long as I can. I placed an order for some new ones, but uh, they're not here yet, so. So this one is connected, but it's connected to the wrong. But I connected it to the wrong place. Okay, so this one is now heading here, from here, it's going there. Here we got a connection to this. What else was passed through? This one. This is our last stop. Connection, 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 connection. 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 And tested this one, right? Okay. So this is the uh, repaired version of the card. Let's carefully put this in the in its housing again. And let's get this uh, adapter here once again. Connect the device. And uh, in the interface, we're gonna go back and open up the same task that we just created earlier to see if uh, we've made any improvements for the content. This is a 128 gig unit. Yes, initialize it. Power run. Looks like we have a connection, guys. The unit is fixed. And if we were to go ahead and browse it now, we actually see that there is a partition and we will be able to access that partition right now. 
there is the content the DCIM folder a bunch of other stuff so at this point I would just clone out the card yay the card is working again and the data is accessible um, it feels great to fix somebody else's mistakes but it feels even better to fix your own mistakes and take away a message from it I guess uh, you know my most of my experience comes from trial and error and uh, figuring out things uh, doesn't always pan out the way you plan it will and uh, sometimes you do have to uh, um, get yourself in a little bit of trouble in order to find out uh, a way to get out of that trouble and as you guys can see the damage traces were really no issue if you have uh, the tools and the skill to get around it so um, this was interesting this was fun I like doing projects like this <laughs> and I like to see data at the end of the procedure so so I'm definitely happy about the turnout and uh, uh, if you have any questions drop them in the comments below guys I'm here to answer all your questions so if you have anything you want to share ask away in the comment section please uh, thank you very much for watching I'll see you all in the next episode